Welcome to our video tutorial, How to Join a New Dryer Fabric. This video consists of four tutorials, starting with loading and aligning. Start with the old fabric already removed and the new one in place. Secure both ends of the fabric to the machine framework using clamps to prevent it falling into the basement. On the leading edge of the fabric, you'll find a leader, a piece of extra fabric. Use the leader to pull the fabric ends close to each other and align them. Fold the leader back and close the zip. Once the zip is closed, slowly remove the monofilament yarn which connects the leader to the new fabric and remove it. Align the fabric ends by forming a bubble. The check marks help you with the alignment. Take time to carefully align the ends. The seam wire will only pass through all loops easily if the fabric edges and check marks have been aligned. Variants of seam aids. There are different seam aid designs. Standard zip. Align the fabric ends with the short side flat on the table and the longer side forming a bubble. Tent zip. Both fabric ends are the same length and come together forming the shape of a tent. Velcro. The Velcro is on the same side on which you will seam the fabric. After pulling the fabric ends close to each other, align the check marks, close all Velcro straps, and check the alignment again. Now start to seam. Open the single Velcro straps when passing so you can reach the loops underneath. Once you've passed a Velcro strap, reclose to remove tension from the seam. We have to emphasize again, the preparation is the most important part. Take your time so that installation goes smoothly. Seaming. Align the first set of check marks and mesh the loops to the fabric edge. Carefully insert the seam wire. Take care not to bend the steel wire. Check regularly that no loops are missed. This works for all woven fabric seams. When it becomes too difficult to insert the metal wire, part the loops and allow the wire to exit the seam. Slowly pull the wire out of the seam and then the mono, allowing enough mono to complete the remaining length of seam and extra to finish off. Re-enter the seam without missing a loop and continue to seam the fabric. When pulling the remaining mono through the seam, be careful not to get tangled. When the remaining loop is small enough, quickly pull the loop so that it enters the seam without twisting. You have a spiral fabric? After you've aligned the fabrics, use a marker pen to rub across the surface and gently click the spirals together, ensuring the check marks are aligned. Finishing. Now the seam wire is inserted. When you reach the other side, pull the metal seam wire slowly until enough monofilament emerges to allow the seam to be finished. Do a last check. No loop should be missing and no step at the edge of the fabric. Remove the large monofilament yarns that connect the zip seaming aid to the fabric. This allows the seaming aid to be removed. Note, on fabrics over 6 meters wide, these large mono yarns are cut in the center of the fabric to make them easier to remove. They are removed by pulling from both sides. Take the mono ends of the seam wire and feed them back into the gap behind the seam. If the last loop is blue, feed the wire down the white loop side and vice versa. 
make sure the wire end emerges on the non-paper side of the fabric. Cut off the excess close to the fabric surface. Please don't knot the ends as a knot will wear away and the seam will fail. Apply silicone adhesive to each end to lock the ends of the seam wire in place and to protect the edge. Now you may remove the clamps. Finally, housekeeping. Ensure all materials are removed to avoid possible damage to the fabric or machine. Congratulations, you are done.